Panaji, Durga Saptashati is noted as being able to transform collective consciousness. How will this program coincide with the upcoming Rudrayaga at Kumbh Mela in 2019? You know, Durga Saptashati, as I told you, it's a very, very profound, esoteric scripture and yet extremely practical and very accessible. You can undertake the practices of Durga Saptashati with or without any other ancillary practices. If it is for your just personal growth and not, not even say growth, but let's say if you are using the mantras of Durga Saptashati as a formula for a particular concern, you don't need too much preparation. All you need is mantra to be recited and given to you by someone who has quote accomplished Siddha, one who has awakened that mantra and the mantra is in that person's mind and heart in its fully awakened form and that person transmits that mantra to you and then they do that mantra five minutes, seven minutes a day and that is just enough to take care of let's say your just extreme, extremely precise kind of concerns. For that you don't need much preparation. But when you are talking about transforming collective consciousness, then it's totally different to way of doing the same mantra. It's just like you have a 10 by 12 room. How much light do you need in that uh, room to illuminate and to remove the darkness of that room? You know, a 60 watt uh, bulb, Two bulbs, three bulbs, five bulbs, 100 watt bulbs, you know, 200 watt bulbs. It depends on what is the purpose of illuminating that uh, uh, room. But if you have to illuminate the whole city, perhaps you need to, it's better, it's, it's, uh, it's important that uh, uh, you talk to the entire power company and have your own, uh, you know, uh, uh, personal, uh, what you call, uh, uh, transformer. You may need to have your own power uh, grid, you know, at your disposal. Because you are talking about, you know, mega, mega, you know, maybe 50 megawatt, maybe 100 megawatt, maybe 1000 megawatt, you know, electricity, you know, consumption every day. And therefore, your infrastructure has to be very big. So in order to transform collective consciousness, that's when the, month, the that's when the Rudrayaga is very, very important. Without that, there is no foundation. On that foundation of Rudrayaga, then you undertake the, the, the practice of Durga Saptashati that is called Sat Chandi, Sahasra Chandi, Laksh Chandi, where um, a group of people with almost, you know, at the same wavelength in terms of their consciousness are sitting and, 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 under, and doing the practice for 10 days, 100 days, one whole year, two whole year in a very, very spiritually vibrant, you know, place, uh, be it a spiritual shrine, be at the bank of a river, be at a, you know, a spiritually, you know, vibrant, you know, mountain, you know, ranch somewhere. And that is what is called the group practice for transforming the collective consciousness. So what we are doing there at the Kumbh Mela in the Allahabad this time is Rudrayaga. That is our building, our foundation. So that we bring back all that Shakti. Carry it here to Hansdale. Then undertake a much, much, much bigger practice of Durga Saptashati here starting with the opening of our shrine Sri Vidya shrine that will happen in month of middle of July then we do this practice for one whole year I'm committing myself and I have I'm very very happy with um, you know more than dozens of students those who have been preparing for this long long term practice of Durga Saptashati that will last for one whole year and then uh, uh, one year later, then we have a big fire offering, etc. So that is how we are using the practice in Allahabad, Rudriyaga practice in Allahabad as a foundation. And the actual practice of uh, uh, so-called Divine Mother, which is based on the practice of 
this Durga Sapsati, that will be the very, very, very first beginning point of that practice will be in our Vara, in, in Varanasi, you know, right after the uh, Rudriyaga is completed as part of Kumbh Mela. And then everything moves to the Pennsylvania. So this is uh, something of unprecedented, you know, uh, in our modern times. And many, many great souls in the past and the inspired group of people in the past had done this kind of practice. And that's what has, makes a uh, place uh, turn into a spiritually vibrant shrine. And then centuries to come, people benefit from it.